Hey, welcome to the Craft Beer Review. If you like talking beer, be sure to subscribe and uh, leave me a comment to let me know what you think. All right, today I am switching gears a little bit, getting away from the porters and stouts and browns, you know, all the dark beers, and I'm going for a nice golden pilsner. This is Yingling's golden pilsner. Uh, yeah, DG Yingling and Sons Incorporated, incorporated out of Pottsville, PA. Yeah, let's see, six generations of brewing. All right, not a whole lot on the bottle. Let's check out their website real quick. I just pulled this bottle out of the fridge. I want to give it a minute or two to warm up before I drink it. So let's see. Golden Pilsner. This highly sessionable beer is our interpretation of an outstanding modern Pilsner born from six generations of brewing experience. Golden in both name and color, Yingling Golden Pilsner is the perfect balance of hop, malt character, and crisp, smooth, thirst-quenching refreshment. 4.7% ABV, 18 IBUs, available year-round. All right, they don't have anything else on here. Well, let's open it up and take a look. That is looking nice. Look at that. Look at that nice clear yellow color definitely carbonated big fluffy white head on top there oh that looks beautiful nice and refreshing just kind of what i was looking for pull up the light a little bit wow that is crystal clear check that out wow that looks great Definitely a nice yellow, slight golden color. Let's see if we can get an aroma. I'm getting a little bit low intensity of what I think of as Pilsner malt graininess. Um, I know I've heard some people call it like a uh, corny or vegetal or something like that. Hmm. Low in intensity. There's not much on the nose. Ah, smells good. Exactly what I was expecting so far. I'm curious if this is going to have any hop character. Let's see the website they said it was a perfect balance of what was it? they say perfect balance of hop and malt character for a crisp smooth thirst quenching refreshment i'm guessing there's not going to be much hop character i'm guessing it's just going to be a nice solid pilsner uh but we'll see all right cheers Mm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah. My first impression is it's a nice solid Pilsner. Uh, definitely some Pilsner malt graininess, a little bit of earthiness. Um, I, I, I'm going to guess that they do use another type of uh, uh, malt in addition to the Pilsner malt. Because I feel like there's a little bit of nice maltiness to this, other than um, than what you would get from Pilsner malt. But you know, that's just a guess. I don't know. They didn't list any of the ingredients on their website. But this is smooth, crisp. Everything they said is refreshing. Um, went down very easy. No off flavors um, that I can pick up on. It's just a nice, solid Pilsner. Not getting a whole lot of hop character in terms of like any floral, herbal character or any fruitiness. Just kind of like a nice, solid, light, bready, malty body with some of that Pilsner malt character, that some of that grainy earthiness. 
good. And I tell you what, let's see, I got a six pack of this for like nine thirty eight. So at that price point, this this is good. Mm. Yeah. Simple, refreshing, clean, crisp, you know, everything you'd expect of a Pilsner. Definitely a nice, light, bready malt body to it, though. Um, does kind of have like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe earthiness that could be from another malt. Maybe it's from hop. I really don't know. But definitely not just plain old Pilsner malt character. It's good. How would I rate this? Well, based on that price point, again, nine thirty-eight for a six-pack, solid beer. I would, I'm enjoying this. Um, you know, I'm gonna go nice. Uh, I can definitely see myself buying this again, especially over the summer. Um, I'm gonna give this a solid three point five out of five stars. It's not the best Pilsner I've ever had before, but it's good. I'm enjoying it. And again, at 9.38, a six pack, I would definitely get this again. Cheers.